Dine Out is notoriously bad in the sense that it's kind of buggy, it takes forever to eat out at restaurants, and running a restaurant yourself just kind of sucks. When they did that spa day refresh last year, everybody was like crossing their fingers, really hoping that maybe Dine Out would be next. And at this point, I'm not sure that's ever actually going to happen. It seems like those pack refreshes were maybe like a one and done kind of situation. I'm assuming they did it to try and get more sales on spa day, and then when it didn't really work as well as they had hoped, they just like gave up maybe. But we still have a chance for Dine Out to be saved because modders exist, and Carl's Guides has created a new mod called Dine Out Reloaded that completely overhauls Dine Out. In it, there's a lot of bug fixing and tuning to make the whole restaurant experience a little bit smoother, so like long wait times, glitchy waiters, stuff like that gets fixed in the mod, but it also adds a bunch of new gameplay to make running a restaurant yourself more fun. So for example, instead of just hiring a chef, you can play as the chef yourself in your own restaurant. Now the idea of that sounds really, really fun to me, and I haven't actually tested tested the mod out yet myself, so I thought we could try it today. Of course, I'm gonna link Carl's Patreon, the download, and all of the mod stuff down below if you want to go check it out for yourselves. There is seriously so much stuff in this mod, even like this farm to table feature, where you can grow produce and then use it at the restaurant to get higher quality meals and more money. This entire thing feels like a dream come true for me, so I'm gonna download this and stick it in my game. Just like any other mod, I can drop that in my mods folder, and as long as I have mods enabled, it will work. So Stanley Humphrey is back as our test sim and I even have a little restaurant for us. This is called Hot Diggity Dog. It's a hot dog restaurant run by my hot dog sim. I made a custom menu. It only serves a variety of weenies and, and like, you know, fries. <laughs> the staff also wears exclusively hot dog costumes. We've kind of got a theme going here. So there's a few options that we can do. I guess I can set this as the main chef station and I can choose to cook orders as the chef. I also need to hire some employees. I'll hire Marcus Flex. Perhaps Malcolm Landgrab can work here and maybe like Dina Caliente. <laughs> sure. And then when I open my restaurant, I haven't actually tested this yet. I guess I will be the one to take the orders. Malcolm here is the host. He's letting somebody in already. I haven't run a restaurant in a really long time, so I'm not like 100% sure how good I am gonna be at this, because I don't even know if I can do the regular restaurant, let alone like the new one. Okay, um, Dina, you're not doing much. Could you maybe get a move on? They are gonna give me a one star rating. Should I come take care them myself. I'll take their order. There. I guess I can come take everybody's orders. I definitely could be doing some of this wrong. I will say that I haven't used this yet. Oh my gosh. You can like have guests seat themselves and you can have the diners pick up the meal. Sort of to make it like more of a casual restaurant if you wanted to. Sims eat politely makes them take longer. You can even like set it to have more kids come and like the max waiting groups. There's so many settings to choose from. Okay. Um, this is awkward because I did not care for that sim and now she has left. I feel as though I have done a bad job. Oh, they actually got food though. Look, there's weenies over here. Also, now is a very bad time to be outside. <laughs> like a very bad, oh my god, it is storming. Yeah, today's not a very nice day in the restaurant, is it? I think someone just got struck by lightning. Hmm, do you think I should close? Is, is like now a bad time? I also have terrible employees. <laughs> They're like really low level, so that's not helping. That's just the nature of the dine out restaurant though, isn't it? Even Stanley sucks. He has like no cooking skill. You know what? He is getting a little bit hungry. What if we close the restaurant? Okay, we lost money. That is my bad. <laughs> what if I close the restaurant and what if I like try and go visit a different restaurant instead? Okay, this one's a pizza shop. Not that the kind of food they serve matters, but we could always come here and try and order something just to see what the guest experience is like. So with the mod, you can pay to request a table with priority, which means that you'll be the first one served, which makes the restaurant happen a little bit faster. So, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the weather is very bad, but I just paid to request this table with priority. So when I make an order, it should come out kind of quickly. Maybe I'll get like a root beer float and a pepperoni pizza or something. And it should be a bit smoother. So we already took my order. Oh my God, Lily got struck by lightning. <laughs> well, smoother for me, maybe not smoother for her. Things seem to be rough. Uh, around here for her at least. Anyway, they should be cooking my order first too. So that way the meal will go a little bit quicker than normal. It does cost more, but like, I don't know. Most of the time my sim
sims have plenty of money. And in general, the restaurant experience isn't that expensive. But anyway, some of the other bug fixes. Oh, wait, look, already? <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna be like in and out of here in a couple hours. Normally it takes like six hours. Well, I was gonna say, there's some other tuning things. Like for example, Carl turned off the waiter's ability to like drop and ruin food. He found that, oh, she already cleared my plate. Oh my god. I ate that so quickly. Huh. And meal and pay bill. That was great. But he found that it usually kind of just messed things up. So he made a lot of efforts to turn off things like that that were breaking, or at least to tune them to happen less often and, and better. Stanley, oh, he just stole something. Oh my god. I'm trying to test out the restaurants. <laughs> I'm trying to play with the new dine out features. You can't do that. Ah, okay. It's fine. At least I'm the one who built this. So it's not like he's ruining somebody else's build. Okay, well, I was gonna try and sleep through the night so that I could play in the restaurant again tomorrow, but I don't have a house. So one second, <laughs> let me just get a room and we shall go to bed. Hopefully by the time he sleeps, it won't be storming as much anymore. Yeah, see, it already cleared up a little bit. Well, let's head back to work today. I'm gonna actually try this time. I was just a little bit in awe of all the things that I could do. <laughs> I feel like I, I didn't actually show them. So one thing I know that is new, there's supposed to be a little restaurant counter item. It should show the current number of orders in the restaurant's queue. So we can place that and then know what to expect. It looks like a little TV screen. Let me open up the place. The staff has arrived. I think I'll show the guests to their table. Here, I'll help you. Perhaps I will take their order. I keep forgetting which one of them is me because <laughs> they're all wearing the same outfit. I keep like not realizing which one is me. Look, I took their order and now it says one on the counter. Oh my gosh. Shall I cook the order? Where's the chef? Uh-oh. I don't know where the other chef went, so I think this is on me. <gasps> Look, there's the food done. Waiter's taking it, served, and boom, back to zero orders. That's actually so cool. Let me come take this table's order. And maybe I'll take this table's order too. Oh, this is that lady that I didn't help yesterday. I got you. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, we have so many orders. <laughs> Quick, come cook them. There's something way more fun about this than like the default dine out. Being able to like actually run the restaurant a little bit better is so much more exciting. There's just a lot more to do. I really like running restaurants and I've had fun playing dine out in the past. I don't necessarily feel like as negatively towards it as a lot of other people do, but I will acknowledge that it doesn't work that well, like the normal version. Look, I did it. Okay, they're complaining about their weight. Calm down, you have your food right now. I fed you and I worked hard on that. Anyway, there's just a lot more to do and it makes me feel like I'm taking ownership of the restaurant a little bit more because there's just so much more work that I can physically do while I'm working here. And I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like when I went to the restaurant to eat food, that was so such a smooth experience. Ooh. Our rating increased. It's hard to say if this restaurant is glass half full or half empty. Okay, calm down. Dine here if your favorite color is beige. That is rude. I have done so much hard work today. I'm doing everything myself. I simply won't stand for this. I can't believe they're trying to be mean to me. I kind of want to go eat at a restaurant again just to see if my experience is like as good the second time. Okay, I made like no money that day. The ingredients and the wages are too expensive. I need to like run the restaurant for longer. Look, I'm just here trying to experiment. I'm not trying to get rich. If I wanted to get rich, I'd be like, like grow in the farm ingredients or something. Today is all about testing, okay? We can do like a real playthrough later. <laughs> I just want to see how it works first. All right, let's come request a fancy table again. See if we can get like the, the 100 simoleon tip <laughs> to get prioritized. So we got here at 5.30. Let's see how long it takes us to get our food. I'm gonna order right now. I'll get something fancy. Maybe I'll buy like a steak this time. All right, he got up and stood up. Oh, I think I, think I walked to him and he took my order. All right, Stanley, you have to pee. <laughs> here, come use the bathroom. So we've been here for an hour. We got here at 5.30 and I think that's our food. Yeah, look at that. Our food already came out an hour and a half later. So I'm eating now. I think in total, it should take me about two hours to do this. Normally it takes ages, like four hours or something. He's already done. And that's fine. Cause like, if you came here with people, you could have your Sims be talking at the table. Now I can just end the meal, pay the bill. Huh, that really is a much smoother experience. Everything about it is a much smoother experience. I almost want to test it without the mod now, just to see what it's like. We can do a little timed challenge again. So we know it took us two, two and a half hours this time with the mod and with the bribes. Well, if the game would load, we could test it. <laughs> the game is taking its sweet time though. All right, I think we're good now. Let's see if we can eat again. I'll make myself hungry. So keeping in mind, I uninstalled the mod. So I'm here at 8.30. I'm gonna come request a table. All right, hasn't worked yet. Let's say I got here at nine. <laughs> 
I'm requesting the table. I'm gonna order for the table now. Yeah, saying he got here at nine feels like a safe bet. I'll order the same thing as last time. Not that it makes a difference. <laughs> because it doesn't take longer to cook, I don't think. They did take our order already, so that helps. Maybe I'll draw on the placemat while I wait. It's been an hour. Okay, she fed somebody else. They got their food. It looks really gross. It says it's an excellent quality hamburger, but that does not look like an excellent quality hamburger. And there, we have our food now. So we got our food after two hours. I was being a little bit dramatic about how long it would have taken, but we had got our food and finished eating it after like two hours before. Now look how slow he's being. And where's my drink? He hasn't even eaten it yet. Oh my God. This is the thing. The mod helps with like the tuning of stuff like that because now I've been here for like three and a half hours and I could finally end the meal and pay the bill. I didn't even get my drink though, ever. So that's cool. I don't know if I'm doing the best job of showing off all of the mod features today, if I'm being honest. I'm mostly just experimenting for my own sake. <laughs> If you want to try it out for yourself, by all means, please go and play with it. I might do a stream soon where I like stream myself playing with it for a few hours to get a better feel for it. So let me know in the comments if you think I should do that. First though, I want to spend the morning at Stanley's restaurant without the mod just to kind of compare what the experience is like because we really can do a lot less as the owner when we're there working at it. We don't have the little sign counter anymore either and I loved that thing. But let's open for business, shall we? And now we wait. We've got some guests. All I can do is welcome them though. I can't like show them to their table or anything. I can't take their orders. <laughs> I certainly can't cook. Really all I can do is just say hi. And then you can also like comp their food, give them free dessert and drinks and stuff. I usually choose not to do that. I don't really care that much. But if you're trying to impress somebody, I guess you could always do that. But like literally all there is to do is welcome them and then like check on their table. Where is my chef? I don't think he showed up. Is that him? Marcus, why are you just standing out there? Come work. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's coming to work now. Good. Someone will cook. <laughs> Someone will cook for these Sims. Dina is taking their order. Malcolm is being a good host, I guess. But yeah, there really isn't a lot to do when you actually own the restaurant in like the default version of the game. I always kind of wish there was more to do in the restaurants. So that's why I was so excited about this mod because it's really fun to like actually cook and take the orders. I want to go back now. I don't like the plain game. <laughs> I want my mod back. You know what? Now that I've played with this, I think it's something I'll just keep in my game all the time just to make the restaurant experience smoother. I don't really play as a restaurant owner like all that often, but I do have my Sims go out to restaurants a lot. So this is the kind of thing that will affect my like average everyday gameplay a lot. I know Carl spent a lot of time and effort on this and I greatly appreciate it. This is like a huge mod. See, like I'm back now and I can already like take these people's order and stuff. It's just so much more fun. I feel so much more useful right now. Oh, I can even choose to prioritize their food. That's pretty good though. Cause if you've got somebody important here, like for example, Agnes Crumplebottom, I can choose to prioritize her, <laughs> which she deserves. Well, there you go. That's the dine out reloaded mod. I think there's probably a lot of things that I didn't even explore. I was just kind of curious to test it out and see like what was different. Oh, stop complaining, Christy. You're fine. But I was just really curious to see like what was different and if it felt like it was a lot better. And genuinely, this mod is so cool. I'm gonna link it down below for you if you want to go and download it. And I also made a video building this restaurant a long time ago. You can tell I made this like pre-platforms coming out. It isn't a good restaurant, but it's fine and it served our purposes. So I'll link that down below for you too. Carl has a lot of other great mods as well. So I'm just gonna link all of his stuff if you wanna go check it out and see what else he's made. For example, he made, oh, happy birthday. He made a swatch picker mod. And so with this, I can change the color of these chairs. I don't know if you can see, but I can like adjust the color of things uh, to like a completely custom color. It's really, really cool. I made a video on that too. So I'll link that for you as well. And on that note, I'm gonna stop rambling about hot dogs and, and dine out. <laughs> and I'll end this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Have the best rest of your day. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye everybody. I am so sorry if I didn't show the mod in its full glory. I tried to see everything, but I will definitely do like a full three hour at least stream playing with this because I'm having so much fun.